What's the worst thing you ever did as horny teenager? Fingered my then girlfriend in the backseat of her parents car as we were driving home from her grandfather's funeral. IDK who's more add up me or her. My BF and I scrounged up enough money for an hour at the local Notel Motel. Soon after we realized I locked the keys in the car. We had no money and couldn't call anyone so we broke a window out. Play dumb the next day when my parents saw my window. Back in the day. If your parents were home. There was nowhere in this town where you could bang. The cops patrolled every dead end street and every nearly empty parking lot. So I got the bright idea to pull my car alongside other cars at a dealership lot and use that as a spot to bang in plain sight. Never got caught. But if they were checking the cameras. Someone saw a lot. Used a can of dry shampoo to em sturbet with. Only I used the capped end. The lid came off and got stuck in my bag. Took ages to get it out as the edges of the cap were stuck behind the opening. I bled a little. That sounds funny and awful. However. At the first sentence I was trying to figure out how I could whack it, penis, with dry shampoo. Ed a banana peel wrapped in duct tape. Then I flushed it down the toilet and it actually got stuck. Naturally I was horrified that it would come back up as my dad was sitting there plunging the toilet trying to figure out why it was blocked up. Thankfully it ended up going through and I never had to explain why a duct tape banana peel was in the plumbing. Rubbed one out while riding a bicycle. I was on a long distance bike tour in rural Wisconsin. However. Wasn't me but in swim class I saw a girl put her nether parts against one of those water jets. I did this as a kid. Without realizing. My husband and I have been together since high school and there was a rumor he got his penis stuck in a Gatorade bottle. He had to rip it off and thought he broke his penis. His friends would straight on rag on him. I think he confided in one and they told everyone. I never actually believed it but. A couple of years into marriage and he admits it was true. Edit. He was very adamant I clarify it was Gatorade and not Powerade. Edit 2. My highest rated comment by far now is about my husband sticking his penis in a bottle. Thanks everyone. Comma he was very adamant I clarify it was Gatorade and not Powerade. Of course. The man has standards. My parents like traveling even though we don't have much money. We finally went to Washington DC so we wanted to spend loads of time. That's exactly what the founding fathers created America for. Yeah no. I thought I was a really horny teenager. Went off the trail at the Grand Canyon and wanked in the bushes. I used to jerk off in the living room whenever I felt like it. And to this day I don't know if anyone found out. Edit. I had a blanket over me and I made sure I wasn't sitting next to anyone. But they would walk by me every now and then and I had to stop. Org sma 10 times with an electric toothbrush in a day. 9 stroke 10 dentist recommend. I jerked off in the empty apartment under mine when I was 17 and I thought that was risky. M sturbed 17 times in 24 hours. Edit. A few people asked. No I wasn't taking anything and I'm a guy. Also thanks for the gold. The last four was just your whiner coughing up dust. Make a makeshift flashlight. You get a glass and put two sponges in the glass with a rubber glove in between them. Then I put it in between my mattress and bed and edit. Man. I was a horny f teenager. Preferred masturbation technique was to sit bounce on a pillow held vertically between my legs on my bed. Straddled humped my bedpost footboard. That one was a bad idea. Hardwood. Think I bruised my bits a couple times. Humped stuffed animals. Lubed my fingers with soap and put them up my butt. Bad idea. Fun at first. And then the stinging starts. Paintbrush equals makeshift DLDO. Heavy under the clothes petting at prom with my BF. They had like a photo booth thing set up in a room off the dance floor. But the worst was probably. Had a personal computer in my bedroom. Logged into this dumb little strip poker flash game that had a built in chat room. 
Spent probably 6 to 8 hours masturbating cybering with anonymous people instead of sleeping. Got kind of dehydrated as the door was closed and... Well. It's sweaty work. Had school the next day. Was dead on my feet. Found my parents back massager with an attachment that cut the head of my cock. Used that sometimes. Mum found out once or twice. And I'll never forget her saying I know it feels good. But. A. Uh, twice. I. Not me but a friend of mine swims up to me and another buddy at swim practice. Hey guys. Have you ever whacked it and your balls hurt after? Nah man. You might wanna get that looked at. Yeah. I didn't think beating it that many times before practice would hurt. Uh, how many times? OIDK. Say. Do you guys have calluses on your dick? Around 16 years old. 16 years ago. Before handheld screens were a thing. I got drunk alone at my parents. And printed off almost 50 pages of close soup virginus. And plastered them all over the bathroom wall with thumbtacks. After an awesome 360 wank session. I went to my room and passed out drunk before I could dispose of the evidence. My sister walked into the Vigina room before I got rid of it. She still jokingly brings it up. Over a decade later. As if that was embarrassing enough. Soon after my father used the computer for work reasons. And had to use the printer. There was one gigantic bag left in the printer queue. Edit. Thanks for the silver and gold. Not entirely sure I'm proud of it. But super thankful either way. I've posted this before but deleted it. But I grew up in a very conservative Christian home so asking my mom for birth control and or condoms was not an option so asking to get a DLDO was out of the question. So in my infinite wisdom. I improvised and would use the glass banana from this decorative bowl of glass fruit my mom kept on the dining room table. I knew how dangerous it was but it was a risk I was willing to take. The banana luckily never broke but it was still shameful to have to sit at the dining room table every night for dinner being reminded of my dirty little secret. Used a banana as a DLDO. It was wrapped in a condom but I made the mistake of peeling it first so it just turned to mush. Who's done Omegle? I cut arse if Gina in my stuffed koala from build a bear and went to town. Well those bears are supposed to be customized for you. Ed the couch with my thumb up my ass. M sturbated into an empty fast food soda cup in my female friend's family's living room while having phone sx with my girlfriend on their phone. While my friend was in the other room trying to ignore what I was doing. I took two ziplock bags and put warm water mixed with lotion in them. Mix them together in the bags and put them under the mattress right on the edge. Was going to town on it and it felt amazing. Until one of the bags burst and got liquidy lotion all over my mattress. I had no idea the damage until years later because I moved out. That spot was moldy and super gross and I had no idea I was sleeping on that for years. I put my phone on vibrate then put it next to my clit. Were you expecting a call or just very patient? This wasn't me but it was something that the brother of a friend did. Basically he was getting hot and heavy with his gf and noticed he did not have a condom. I guess he really wanted to have sx and he really wanted to use protection. Basically he made a makeshift condom out of a ziplock bag and some rubber bands and proceeded to have sx with his girlfriend with it to completion. Kudos to him for sticking with rapid before you tap it though. TL. DR. I find it a bit alarming that I can relate to so many of these. I was the official PRN distributor for my middle school. This was before PRN hub and smartphones. I was a good writer. So I would take commissions to write you and your crush self insert erotica. If that wasn't up your alley. I had a massive binder of smut printed from the early internet. I'd staple stories into booklets and loan them out to other students based on whatever ship or budding kink they were into. Helped at least one of my friends realize he was gay. I have no idea how we never got caught. Sent nudes even though I knew my parents could read deleted texts. Would be eyeing my then girlfriend now wife at her mom and stepdad house I spent the nightmare. 
they let me sleep in the bed with her but told us no fooling around with each other. I was 18 or 19 at the time she was 16. She lived with me at my mother's and father's house. Anyways she had one of those beds that was metal had those metal rods that needed screws at the top and bottom. Bed was loud squeaky as. Anyways we started doing the deed her stepdad was at work but her mother was home sleeping. We get almost done I'm bed fell apart. The bed was made out of aluminum and she had hardwood floors. So needless to say when bed fell apart you heard about 20 or 30 bars falling on the floor. A mom woke up came in the room I'm there on bottom at full mast while wife is on top butt ass naked in the process of getting off me. Her mom laughed and said yup we loosen up the screws and bolts. I had a girl's shoe in the dryer so she'd stay at my house longer. We ended up having a sex. I ate all the Pringles. Took a new pack of dish sponges. And stole a glove out of the first aid kit. It's kind of fun to read the comments and then think is the poster a male or female? I am sturbated hands free in my math class. I wasn't actually a teenager I was about 12. Still I didn't get caught and I wonder how 12 year old me had the guts to do that and for anyone wondering how I did it. I used my thighs to add pressure to my crotch. It's a bit difficult but it works. Don't know if a guy can do it though. Edit. Your upvotes have increased my ego to the size of the sun. Thanks guys. Not me. But I just found out what my nephew did and I couldn't stop laughing. My cousin, Femil46, was moving towns and had to stay with my sister for a few days. She went into the shared bathroom to take a shower and in the shower was a pocket PSSY flashlight thingy. She told my sister and my sister was completely embarrassed because the only other person that uses that bathroom is my nephew, 16 years old. My sister threw it away and later confronted my nephew and their conversation went like this. Sis. I found your toy in the shower. Nephew. What did you do with it? Sis. I threw that disgusting thing away. Nephew. That was expensive. You owe me a new one. I died laughing when my cousin told me this story. Can you imagine telling your mom she owes you a new pocket PSSY? SMH. I was about 17. And I was seeing this guy and we wanted to have SX. We both lived with our parents so he got a motel room that he paid for using all of his money from a recent cash job he just did. It was the cheapest one we could find and was connected to a truck stop. We had a SX marathon that night. I felt like a prostitute minus the fact I didn't get paid. I cringe every time I drive past that motel. I stuck a glass pipe in my poop box. Are you chicks out? I cut a hole in a bear skin rug and did that bear silly. Did you get a cub skin rug soon after? Humped a mattress and ripped my banjo. True story. Edit. Physically felt it rip followed by a ton of blood. One stroke 10 would not recommend. Edit 2. Over 2000 karma for ripping my penis. Jesus Christ on a bicycle. Where the hell do I even start? I once heard you could warm up a banana peel and stick your dick in it. All I did was ruin a perfectly good banana. Not the worst but the first to come to mind. My 16 year old self rode my bike 20 miles because my GF said she'd show her PSSY and tits to me. I rode the 20 miles back with a smile on my face. That was over 50 years ago and I'd do it again. I used the handle of one of those magnetic fishing rod toys as a DLDO. My ass hurt a lot. Catch anything? So far the worst thing I've done is fist myself so hard I bled a little. Apt username. I would always put my clit under the bath water coming from the faucet because of the pressure. Edit. Whoa this blew up. Thanks for the likes. This is a pretty common way to tickle the bean. My girlfriend, at the time, and I getting caught by more cops just as she was about to go down. Lost my virginity in a parking lot that we found empty and secluded. It was a Saturday night and we had parked a few spaces apart but slept in the same car. Turned out to be a church parking lot. 
Woke up Sunday morning to tapping on the window and had the walk of shame through a small crowd in just my shorts. Funny now. Not so much then. I shoved a hairbrush up my ass. And on another day I jacked off in a cornfield. Pretty sure I broke one of my brother's HEXBUGs. I was at my tutor's home at the table and I started jerking up to some pictures in my mind. And sometimes I would go to her bathroom and beat it. Edit. Probably taking my hairbrush and shoving it up my vagina in my family's communal bathroom on a fairly regular basis. To say the least. I could have literally opened a door and looked into my parents' room. Most of my time was spent muffling myself. That. And using shaving cream and shampoo as lube. Separate occasions. Multiple times because I liked the slight burn it gave me. Edit. So apparently my most upvoted comment is about me shoving shaving cream up my nope tunnel. Fun times. I am sturbated in the bathroom of the louver because I thought it would be a once in a lifetime opportunity. I once had a house party with my parents out of town. I got dared by the girls to the eye socket of the human skull my dad has in his study. And that if I did there would be a reward. You can bet your ass skull at that skull. And the reward was my first blow job. So all in all an absolute win. Fingered my gf while we were in a room with our friends. We had it covered up and nobody noticed but I was so nervous the entire time. They noticed. During high school. Make out and fool around with my ex in the back of his parents car while they would drive us home. I would wear low cut shirts or deliberately avoid wearing an undershirt to allow easier access to my breasts. Even made him come while we were coming back from Florida and had to hurry inside a visitor center to wipe off my shirt and wash my hands. We also fooled around in my bed at my house with the door open and my stepsister in the room. We would stop or put a blanket over us if we heard footsteps. Also had, not so great, SX in our room at Disney World and in his car in a parking lot across from my church. Holy I just remembered I had my GF in a bed next to her parents in a hotel room while they slept. After I got my wisdom teeth out I was given a water syringe with a long thin tip to blast any bits of food out of the holes in my mouth. In the shower I would fill it up with water and blast it down my dick just because it felt cool. About a month later it started hurting when I peed and it would smell like salami and old Cheerios. Turns out I gave myself a urinary tract infection. It went away after I drank enough cranberry juice though. Bought my brother a flashlight as a gag gift for Christmas. Ended up using it myself on Christmas Eve. When I was younger. I discovered that vibrate why things felt pretty darn good. Of course being young I was limited to various vibrating household objects. This lead to a lot of my first masturbation sessions using my stepbrother's electric razor. The worst part is that he found out and probably knew for a while. As I would use it in the bathroom which we shared and was exactly a beta from his room. But one day he accidentally opened the door. On the toilet. Buzzing razor in hand. We never exchanged words about it after that point. I boiled some eggs and then tried to put them in my vagina using mayo as lube. Pretty sure I got that egg salad at a gas station once. Edit. Thanks for the love. I spent nigh when I was in the early teens jerking off like 6-7 times back to back to Jules Gonya Island infomercials instead of going out. Where do I begin? I put a hot dog in a sandwich bag and went to town. To get a bun and mustard? Jerked off to a diagram of a woman. A diagram. I walked 16 miles to a girl's house to spend the weekend smashing without any parents around. She made moose steaks. Had some pot. And knew volumes more about SX than I had ever known. It still stands as a top 3 life moments after 40 years. My brother owed me $60 bucks and offered me weed because at the time he was a drug dealer. But begged him to take me to a girl's house instead of paying me back. Ended up losing my virginity that day. I shoved a sharpie up my ass. 
I may or may not have made a Lego DLDO to shove up my Vegina. I used to steal screwdrivers just to them from my school's workshops. Good times. They never seemed to notice and I still own a few of them. Why does this not have a NSFW tag? While it should it's kinda. Expected with a title. Not me but so many people got fingered on the band bus. On my alt account for this. I fingered my GF in the back of my class then got suspended for it BC her friend told her dad, who wanted to press charges but knew my GF would get in trouble too, about it and got suspended for 2 weeks and so did she and when we got back she broke up with me for saying something along the lines of I'm not saying you shouldn't be friends with her. That's your call but that's kind of a tie thing to do to your friend and she broke up with me for it. A couple days later we got back together then after a while I moved to Florida and I broke up with her. Still a horny teen. My mom got me a bladeless electric shaver when I first started shaving my legs and it only took a few mods to make that thing a pretty effective vibrator. Worth it to have that thing as my best friend while my legs stayed hairy. Also stuck a glue stick in my ass once when I was really desperate and there were no other household cylinders around. Thankfully the cap stayed put. Not even gonna mention all the viruses I got on our poor family computer. Put my clit near the jet in a jacuzzi. My girlfriend and I had SX on her autistic brother's bed. Man reading those comments I remember when one of my friends beat his meat right next to me because he thought I wasn't looking. Sniffed some other girl's panties then emsturbated to it. Emsturbated using rose water. I don't even know what I was thinking so don't ask. Didn't have PRN so I took a video of me emsturbating. Then emsturbated to said video. Suck my own dick. There's a lot of weirder that I did but don't remember. Let me preface this. My best friend in high school was an incredibly good sport. He was a sweet gay boy raised by lesbians who wound up with a friend group entirely comprised of gay girls. He had to deal with all our queer girl drama for years. This peaked the night after prom. Being horny teenagers. As aforementioned gay girls had drunken group sx in the room where he was sleeping. He woke up in the middle of it. Took in what was happening. Yelled. Ugh. I am surrounded by eyeing lesbians. And then he rolled over and went right back there to sleep. M Sturbert to the female models in those clothing catalogs and actually come on the magazine on one occasion. I rubbed one out in 7th grade during class once. We had about 5 of those big circular tables in the room instead of desks. I was leaned back in my chair with it pushed up close to the table. With my hands in the pocket on my hoodie. As the teacher was giving a presentation I was sitting next to a cute girl. So I started softly rubbing my fingers back and forth in the pocket. Taking careful glances around the room as I go to make sure no eyes were on me. I wasn't worried about them seeing what I was doing because the hoodie pocket was so big that it had extra fabric that helped hide what little motion was going on under it. I kept going until I reached Hog SM. And nobody in that class ever found out. When I was around 15 had sx with a friend at her parents house in her younger sister's room. Weird but wouldn't complain because sx. Halfway through noticed closet is ajar. See someone peeking but I was really into it and didn't want to stop. Left as soon as I finished because I felt bad. Embarrassed and scared of parents coming back. Brought it up after and this girl told me she charged her sister you a cute 20 to watch because she liked me. We did it three more times before it progressed. Not come out and not have sx. Did some meaty wacky in the school bathroom. Maybe it's reddit bias. But I like how even the comments are between dicks in weird places and foreign objects inside vaginas. I'm glad to see that we're all even in our embarrassing 12-16 years old masturbation sessions. Fingered my girlfriend in the same room as her parents. Do not allow your teenage kids and the boyfriend girlfriend to watch a movie under a blanket in the living room. Jerked off in the same room as my dad was sleeping. Thinking it was dark and quiet enough. Not sure if he heard me. But he heard me. Traveled 8 hours on a bus to another city to get laid. 
She was hot though. Redhead. OMG it was worth it. But the worst. I don't even think I was horny. I was young. I stuck a tampon up my ass to see what it felt like. Wasn't great. But what makes it really bad is my mom pulled the stained tampon out of my pants pocket in front of me while doing the laundry. So much regret. Yes. I put it in my pocket afterwards. Don't ask me to figure out why the I would do that. Sticking it in my ass in the first place tells you I didn't know what the hell I was doing.